Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video and today bringing you guys episode number 52 of my Let's Play Clash Royale series. Now, as you guys can tell by the title, I found my second ever legendary card on this free to play account. I actually got it out of my crown chest, which was pretty lucky. And uh, let me show you the battle that got me my crown chest beforehand because it actually turned out to be pretty ridiculous. And maybe that's why I got the legendary. Now, starting off, I played a Sparky in the back. He didn't really know what to do. So he just let his knight run down the lane before it died. My Sparky's gonna lock onto the wizard and end up damaging both the wizard as well as the tower, but I played my fire spirits not knowing that he had a giant skeleton. So notice how my fire spirits are down. That's very crucial because in a moment, you're about to see what happens. He does have a miner, which he's gonna play down the lane and you can see it running towards my tower. Then look at those minions level 12 minions i play a zab spell thinking hey and a cannon i use my cannon to distract the minions thinking it would only take my tower one hit to kill the minions my tower takes two hits to kill minions after they've been zapped so i lose my elixir collector i lose my tower and uh, i throw a wow out there now realize the last time I got a free legendary card on this account, I actually played someone with an overpowered minion horde that was level 11, I think. And my other cards were not even, you know, they were below level to where I am right now, which is insane. So I'm placing level 12 minion horde with level nine or eight commons, which is just mind blowing. So let's go and continue the battle. Probably wondering how I turn this one around. The giant musketeer push in the right hand lane while he plays the musket or the, the knight to guard against my um, my Valkyrie in the left. He makes a mistake with his wizard placement, which makes it so my Musketeer can just take it out. My cannon will end up cleaning the knight on the left-hand side too, and we're gonna go ahead and return fire and take down his right-hand tower. So things are looking great. This guy, you know, really respectful, even though he's level 10, he's not like throwing laugh emojis and angry faces when he takes my tower and stuff like that. Um, so let's go and play our own Elixir, or actually I was looking to play the Elixir Collector, but let's play a Valkyrie instead to kill the giant skeleton. And at this point, I am deathly afraid of that minion horde. I cannot play play my fire spirits unless that minion horde comes out there it is right there i've got to play my fire spirits to take it out i'm gonna play the zap spell plus my fire spirits because i'm just so freaking afraid right there and uh, even though he's got a dark prince running down the lane gonna stuff it with my valkyrie and i still have that musketeer that guarded against his a miner so we've got a pretty massive push coming down the lane right now now we've got the musketeer the valkyrie the wizard's not gonna do too much five elixir down the drain with that wizard the skeleton army is gonna come out my valkyrie is gonna do its best to clean them up before my sparky he finally locks on to a couple of the skeletons as well as the uh, knight right there and uh, we're still going to end up taking some massive damage onto that crown tower my musketeer and fire spirits are going to lock on it's all the way down to 95 hp and you guys know what that means a single slap from my giant to the face will wrap this game up for a solid one crown of zero victory against the level 10 with level 4 epics and a level 12 common card uh, but good game very well played to my man right here. And this is the card that gave me the crown chest that I needed. I was nine out of 10, I got two crowns, so it would put me at 11, but you guys know you can't go over on the crown chest anyways. And guess what I get out of my crown chest? You can see my crown chest opened up and gave me a Sparky. My other legendary card I've got on this account is a Sparky. You only need two cards to upgrade to level two. I can upgrade my Sparky to level two on my brand new level eight account. Isn't that just magic that I got that? Let's go ahead and check it out. And if you take a look, I'm actually at 2,782 trophies. I'm only 218 away from the legendary arena. Uh, but more importantly, like I said, the Sparky, we're so close to level, or we're so close to getting it up to level two because right now we're at 1,389 gold and we need 5,000. I spent so much gold on some random upgrades to my cards. I upgraded all of my commons to level six and my rares to level four and my epics to level two. I could use the gems that I've gotten for free by collecting them out of crown chests. Um, to buy some gold. Let me know what you guys think is a pretty good buy for me. Should I buy gold with my gems? Should I use it on a magic or a, some sort of chest whenever whenever I'm able to? Um, let me know in the comment section below. I really feel like I should spend it on gold because gold is a really valuable resource inside of this game. And it just seems like when you're free to play that it's hard to get everything you need to do all the upgrades you want to get done. So get taken in your guys' opinion. I'll make a decision inside of the next video. Let's go ahead and hop into two more battles today to see if we can keep it up. And we're gonna be facing against Ava Ramadani, I hope I, I pronounced that correctly, and uh, 
things are looking pretty decent so far. Again, I'm really wishing I could upgrade my Sparky to level two. It would have been pretty epic to do inside of this video, but I'm gonna save up my gold. I'm gonna put some pennies inside of the penny jar and hopefully we'll be able to get it done soon, especially if I just spend the gold on it and knock it out pretty e easily. Now it looks like this guy is gonna be playing the Sparky deck too. I, I sort of like playing these matchups because it's really fun to have a mirror matchup and just honestly see who the better player is most of the time. He does have a level on a couple of my cards, but um, so long as things are normal, things should be pretty, you know, pretty even. Looks like we're gonna have things going down right now. His Sparky just played his shot. Now my Sparky's ahead of his on the cycle and take a look at my Zap. My Zap goes down at the absolute perfect time and his Sparky is as good as dead. And then now we can keep pushing down this right-hand lane. Sparky's charged up, Musketeer's behind it. Sparky's gonna dominate every single one of those Barbarians. Another Elixir Collector just to make sure we keep our advantage. And that ended up being the smart play instead of playing our Fire Spirits. We could have played our Fire Spirits, but they would have met the same fate by dying inside of that Fireball. So at this point, we can just make sure we keep our advantage up. We did damage the tower just a little bit with our Musketeer, I think. Um, but yeah, we didn't get the crack through that we really wanted to, so we're gonna have to try to do that on this push right here. So Sparky is charged, he does not have any cards down, so we definitely have an advantage. There's his Sparky right there, my Giant's gonna go down, my Musketeer's gonna go down. I don't wanna play my Valkyrie because it's simply just gonna be Crossfire, um, for when I, uh, you know, when it, my, his Sparky hits mine. My Zap Spell's gonna go down right as his Sparky tries to lock onto my Giant, and that means my Sparky can now charge up, target both his, wait! What was that target misdirection right there? What? Dude, my Sparky locked onto his Sparky and the tower. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Well, this game just got a lot more interesting. I'm not sure what the, I gotta look back at the replay to see what happened. Let's play the Zap spell as well as our Valkyrie to stop his Sparkies in their tracks. Looks like things should be okay right there. The Valkyries are gonna keep spinning. My Sparky's gonna take out his Sparky. And then now we can keep pushing. We got the giant Sparky and Musketeer push. This is just a big back and forth game of uh, of the Sparky plus the Musketeer. Now a second Sparky is going to go down. This one's going to lock onto the tower right here, and or the bomb tower that is, which is the most annoying defense in the game in my opinion. It's just so annoying to deal with. I don't think it's OP, but when it has a couple of levels on it, it's just so dang tanky. And uh, finally, 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 we're going to make our way to the tower and a wrap up this game. So good game to my man right here, another fellow Sparky player, but we're gonna take the victory. That's one crown to zero. Let's go ahead and hop into one more battle against Meyer 8, and he hits me with the Hog Rider cheese. I don't have a cannon available, so we're not gonna be able to stop that Hog Rider with a cannon. The Hog Rider's gonna keep pounding away. My Sparky's gonna go down, and wait, what is with this lag? The Sparky, are you serious right now? Sparky will not play. I'm wasting Elixir. I'm wa and then my Sparky goes down after my Valkyrie is already dead. Perfect, 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 perfect start to this game. Guys, we just took 1600 HP to the face and we didn't get any sort of counterattack due to that lag right there. And we probably lost like three Elixir. My Sparky is just gonna die. And now we've got some Fire Spirits. We've got the Musketeer. I'm gonna play a pretty cheeky Musketeer placement. Take a look how I saved both the tower as well as my Musketeer from the Mini P.E.K.K.A. So we played that really well right there, but we are in such a massive hole right now that it's gonna take a, it's gonna take a miracle to, to bring us out of this. I'm hoping I can just keep stopping these Hog Rider pushes. There goes one right there. Let's zap down the Fire Spirit plus the Ice Spirit. The Ice Spirit will still hit my tower and do 100 damage. Are you serious? The Ice Wizard, or the Ice Spirit does that much damage? I did not realize that, the Ice Spirit, dang. I knew it was strong, but I didn't know it did that much damage to stuff. So uh, let's go and regroup, play an Elixir Collector in the back and to see if we can get our pump going. So obviously we got a little bit thrown out over in the beginning by not getting our pump going from day one, um, or at least moment one. But at this point, we can go ahead and play our Sparky in the back, hopefully be able to stop this push right here and be able to turn it around us on this guy and to be able to knock this one out. Now he does have a Zap spell, which makes me really worried. I'm gonna play my Valkyrie on top of the Wizard and the Ice Spirit's gonna freeze my Valkyrie. The Wizard locked onto my tower, so my tower's all the way down to 16 HP, guys. This is, this is getting pretty ugly. And we need a massive push right here. This is one of our power spikes right here, just due to the fact that we have such an elixir lead right now. So let's go ahead and let our Sparky hopefully do work. Sparky's gonna lock on to the fire spirits. Are you serious? Musketeer's stuck behind my Sparky, so it can't even do anything. The Ice Spirit will get its, uh, its little bit of a freeze off right there. But finally, my Sparky, 
both Sparkies can, can start doing some work. One's going to go off right here. My Musketeer is going to try to do work. My Valkyrie and Sparky, I'm just hoping I can get one to the tower. We can't really seem to get it. My Valkyrie's doing her best. I'm just throwing stuff in his face, hoping that it sticks. My Giant's gone down. My Musketeer's gone down. My Fire Spirits are going down. We're chipping this tower down after not doing any damage to it all game. He's going to go ahead and zap me down. I've got my own zap prepared just in case we need it. My Giant's going to start doing work. It's going to get one more hit off, but the tower's down to 163 HP. Is there anything I could have done to get that extra 100 damage off? Because he does have a zap spell, which means he can take us out at a moment's notice. I'm going to zap down his wizard as well. He's going to actually play a zap spell on my Sparky, so that's going to give me this final push right here to do anything. I'll play my cannon. And his ice spirit, his my giant, the fire spirits. This is so close, but in the end, so ridiculously sad. 52 seconds left. I'm sure that zap's coming down. And there it is. One crown to zero. We almost pulled that back right there. But I'm, I think if we didn't lag in the beginning, we, we would have had a chance to make that happen. I, I did my best, but 26 trophies. Well played to Meyer minor aid. And uh, that, that's going to do it for the final battle. So unfortunately, we did not keep stretching out our trophy lead. Uh, we're at 2714. Not too shabby on this account at all. Uh, but still a little bit disappointing after the last battle, but I'm really happy about getting that sparky I'm gonna try to see if I can get that gold to upgrade it again If you guys uh, want to let me know if I should buy my gold with gems or if I should go ahead and save that up for some chest Openings, let me know in the comment section below, but that is going to do it for this video Until next time. I will see you guys later. Peace out